Welcome back, guys. So my name is Vivi. So this is the part seven. Questions. Okay. So now let's start about the topic. So today's topic is a string. Some question related to string. So let's start. Uh, so let's start with the beginning. Yeah. So again, welcome to our test technology. This is Vivi. Let's start our session. So, so now related to questions related to string, we have some questions. Okay, so we are going to ask the first question is that what is the meaning of mutable in the context of the string class in Java? Mutable. So and mutable object cannot be modified or changed in Java. A string is an immutable class in Java. Once the string object is created, it cannot be changed. When we assign the string to a new value, then a new object is created. Immutable and immutable. New object is created. I think you understand. So, next question is why a uh, string object is considered immutable in Java? Why? Java language used a string for a very Variety of purpose. For this, it has been marked string immutable. Okay, for this variety of that. There is a concept of the string literal in Java. Let's say there are two string variables A and B that reference to a string object test data. Okay. All these variables refer to the same string literals. If one reference variable A changes the value of the string, literal from test data to re real data then it will be affect the other variable as well due to which string is considered immutable and uh, affected to another data in this case if one variable a uh, change the, the value of real data then the new string literal with the real data is created and a will point and it will point a new string literal while we while we will keep putting to test data. So next question is how many objects just follow code created? Three objects will be created. Three objects. The above code create only one object since there is only one string literal. Here, hello world created all the reference points to the same object. Right. How many bills are there in Java to create a string object? Java object to create a string object. One is by using the string literal, and another is by using the new. So, how many objects are follow code create? String as equals to new string hello world. Have a code creates two objects. One object is created in the string constant pool, and another object is created in the heap in the non pool area. What is the string training? Training. The string training refers to the concept of using only one copy of the string, the string value. That is immutable. It provides the advantage of making a string processing efficient in the in this in time as well as space complexity. But it introduces extra time in created creation of a string. Why Java used the string literal concept? Java use a string literal concept to make Java more efficient in memory. If some string already exists in the string constant pool, it will can reuse this save memory process. String literal. Okay. Next question is.
what is the basic difference between a string and a string buffer object the string is immutable object it its value cannot be changed after creation a string buffer is a mutable object we can keep updating appending or modifying the constant of a string buffer object how will you create immutable class in java in java we can declare a class final to make it immutable there are following details steps to make it immutable add a final modifier to class to prevent it from the getting extended add private modifiers to all the fields to prevent direct access do not provide any setters method to for the members variable add final modifiers to all the uh, mutable fields to assign value only once use deep copy in deep copy to initialize all the fields by a constructor in clone method return a copy of an object copy of an object instead of actual object reference next question is what is the use of to string method in java in java object class has a two string method in java object class has a two string method this method can used to return the string representation of an object when we uh, print object java implicitly calls to string okay method java provides the default implementation of two string method two string method but we can uh, override this method to return the format that we want to print print that arrange the question is arrange the three class string string buffer and string builder in the order of efficiency for the string processing operation a string builder is the most efficient class it does not have the overhead of synchronization the string buffer is a synchronized class it has better performance than the string but it is slower than the string builder a string is the lowest for any string processing operation since it is leads to creation of a new string literal with the each modification so keep the decreasing order of efficiency a string builder a string buffer and a string What is the exception handling in Java? Java provides exception handling mechanism to handle the runtime error that occurs in JVM. There are checked exception in a uh, program that we expect to occur in certain situations. Exception handling mechanism catch these checked exception and takes relevant action. In Java, one or what are the difference between a checked and unchecked? Checked and unchecked. Checked exception extend throwable class, but the, they do not extend runtime exception or added class. Unchecked exception extend runtime class. Checked exception, checked exception are checked at compile time in Java. Unchecked exception happen at runtime, so they are not checked at compile time. Unchecked exception happen at the runtime, unchecked exception happen at the compiler. IO exception, SQL exception, etc. are the checked exception because null pointer exception, null pointer exception, for example, for unchecked exception. What is the base class of error and exception class in Java? Error as well as exception class is derived from the throwable class in Java. What is finally block in Java? Java provides finally block with a try block, 
this is an optional block, but the finally block is always executed after the execution of a try block. What is the use of finally block in Java? What is the use of finally block in Java? As per Java specification, a finally block is always executed whether an error occurs or not. Whether an error occurs or not. But ever, whether an exception is handled or not. It has its in doing the cleanup like rollback, transaction, close corruption, close of file, etc. Finally, block. It's really definitely executed. When we created a finally block without creating a catch, yet the finally block can be follow a try block or catch block. So we can define a finally block just after a try block. Do we have uh, do we have to always put a catch block after a try block? Java does not enforce the rule to put a catch block after try block. We can write catch block or finally block after a try block. Any exception that we want to catch in the men mentioned in catch block. In in what scenario a finally block will not be executed? There are exit. There are two main scenario in which finally block is not executed. Program exit by calling the system dot exit call after fatal error caused by JVM crash. Can we re throw an exception in Java? Yes, Java uh, allows to re throw an exception. So now this is and about that, so there's 20 questions. I think it was with this 20 questions. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is 20 questions related to Core Java. So thank you. We will meet our next session. Next 20 questions.